Okay, we've got a mango. This is a mango which you can uh, come across or buy in any supermarkets, mostly in every single country. So this is the usual mangoes you can purchase, but I will show you Thai mango. So a mango is imported from Thailand. So this is the mango from Thailand. This is a mango from Thailand. As you can see straight away, it uh, looks different. The color is different, it's got nice yellow color. And this is a ripe mango, Thai ripe mango. And this one is ripe, very ripe mango you could purchase anywhere. As you can see in here, um, it is squishy. You can see that, but squishy ready. And this one is really squishy, ready to go, ready to eat. The texture is a bit different. And this is the Thai mango. It got the end as the other one, as you can see in here. And this one and it will have a pit inside as well and it will have um it will taste a bit different Thai mango than this one and um, obviously size is slightly different of course in Thailand we've got a few different types of mangoes Thai mangoes so this is just one of them and uh, but you can see straight away those mangoes are different. Uh, for ice cream, if you're planning to make ice cream from those mangoes, what you have to do, do not use a uh, raw mango, peel it and use it straight away. You do have to freeze. It doesn't matter which one you're using. You do have to peel it and then uh, freeze your mangoes before you make your ice cream, your mangoes ice cream. I will show you how to cut our mangoes. First of all, we'll need a chopping board and a knife and of course a mango. Okay, every mango will have this end in here, so what we have to do first is cut it out so we can stand our mango on chopping board. Of course, our Thai mango also has the end in here, which we'll also cut off. We have now cut off the end from mango, as you can see in here. And our mango, we can put it flat on a chopping board. Every ma mango's got inside a pit. The pit is large um, and it comes, probably it goes all the way through the mangoes, as you can see in here, the start of the pit. What we have to do is just put the mango flat and as you can hopefully see in here, the mangoes, our mango got two cheeks. So it's got this cheek in here on this side. So what we'll try to do is cut off one cheek in here and then the second cheek which is on the other side so we're gonna try to cut this cheek off as well if for any reason you'll come cut through the knife and you'll come across the pit what you have to do is just take your knife out and move away a bit from the pit and cut it out again so try again to make sure you're just cutting off the cheek and you're not cutting through the pit and then the same on the other side we're gonna cut that cheek off if you put your knife deep and you come across the pit, take it out, move it away, cut out the cheek. So we're going to cut two cheeks out first. And it's the same with a Thai mango. Um, you basically got a pit running through the mangoes. You cut cheek, this cheek out, this cheek out on this side and you're left with a pit. Okay, we have cut now first cheek of mango. I'll show you now. Here we go. So that's our mango cheek, the first one. Nice and juicy. As I said, this is a ripe mango, perfect for mango ice cream. And in my next video, I will be definitely making mango ice cream, only with three ingredients. And now we're gonna move on and cut out the second cheek. Okay, now we've got two ripe, juicy cheeks of our mangoes, as you can see in here. And now I'll show you what to do with the pit. The pit you can see here, it's coming through, as you can see in here, probably better. Okay, we've got our mango chicken here. What we have to do first is cut the lines this way, with your knife, all the way to the bottom of our mangoes, as you can see in here, all the way. But we have to make sure not to cut the skin. So we want to do the lines all the way to the bottom, but not to cut uh, the skin of the mangoes. We don't want the knife to be cut through completely. So, first of all, we have cut our lines this way and now we're going to move and cut our line this way. So we're going to basically do a little cubes. And this is how mango looks after we have cut it. So, 
All we have to do now is flip our mango that way. And it's done. This is how I mangoes um, looks ready and now we can eat it as it is like now so you can just pull it out very easily you will pull that out the cubes and eat it or you can freeze it if you're making ice if you want to you can either pull the cubes out or cut them up with a knife if your mango is not ripe enough or you can use a spoon and scoop it out so you can easily scoop out that mangoes inside now um, there is another method out there which apparently you can use a rim of a glass to slide your mango so you put it on a side of your um, glass and you scoop it out to be completely honest with you it's very messy so I wouldn't recommend it it's very easy to scoop out the mangoes uh, from the cheeks I'll be making ice cream so I will throw them um, our mangoes to the container which I'm gonna freeze the mangoes of course i will cover this uh, container i will put it in a freezer and then we'll make ice cream as you can see when we scoop out our mangoes with a spoon and uh, there's not much waste in here as you can see which is a good thing of course okay in here we've got a pit of course we don't want to waste that because there's still lots of mangoes around it so i will show you how to cut the mangoes out first of all we're gonna peel the skin our skin is now removed and now we're gonna cut some pieces out of the pit if you come across the pit just move your um, knife away and cut out as much of mango as you can leaving just a pit. This is a pit as you can see it's really big and this is the extra mango we have preserved uh, as you all know you can uh, eat your mangoes all year round and those definitely are available through um, all year round in your supermarket however uh, as we all know, uh, the mangoes, uh, as any other fruit and veggies, have got their own season. And mango season starts from May and runs through to September. We usually, I would definitely recommend to eat ripe mangoes, um, but you can use uh, green mangoes for green Thai salad. Okay, Cassie going to show us a Thai mango. So this mango is imported from Thailand. So this is, looks a bit different than usual one you can buy in the supermarket. What do you think? Sophia, Cassie, what do you think about this mango? I'm good. Hmm, okay. I think it looks like a little um, This one is the usual mango you can get in any supermarket. So we're going to peel it and we're going to try it, yeah? Yeah. Let's try it? Okay, Let's do it. Okay, we've got uh, mangoes. We've got the one which you can buy in every supermarket here. It's quite a big one. And then you've got a Thai mango. As you can see, I mean, the color looks the same. Uh, we're gonna try them if it tastes the same. Okay, we're gonna uh, try it out now. So the long one is a Thai one, and the square one is the usual one, the regular one which you can buy in the supermarket. Let's try the Thai one first, okay? I'm trying Thai one. This one. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Any difference between normal? There is definitely a difference, but it still tastes really good. I think. Yeah. See which one you it like tastes better. Really good. Okay. Sophia yeah. said there is uh, only a small. A difference in taste really between a Thai one and regular one you can buy in the supermarket. Cassie, good? Tasty? Okay, I can confirm that Thai uh, mango is definitely a much nicer. Got really nice taste, really juicy, but tastes different than the one you can buy in a um, okay, we've got our mangoes now, cut in uh, little pieces. As I said, it has to be a ripe mango. And what we're going to do now, we're going to freeze it overnight before we can make our We'll ice. need 300 grams of mango, ripe and frozen. 